G'day. This next class of integral, uh, I've chosen three representative ones, and I hope you can see they all have the same pattern. They have a function to a power, function to a power, function to a power. Uh, in this case, the function's a little more complicated than this one. But the derivative of this function, essentially, is out the front. The derivative of cos, it's actually minus sine, but close enough and the derivative of sine is cos. So all three have much the same structure. Some function to a power and the derivative of the function is out the front. Now, I'll make sure it is by making a simple adjustment on the middle one. If I multiply this by minus one and multiply the outside by minus one, minus times minus, or a negative times a negative makes a positive. So this hasn't changed the value, but now we have minus sine theta, which is the derivative of cos theta. If we follow the pattern, I'm not going to do these by substitution. You can if you wish. Let u equal 1 plus sine x, or let u equal cos theta plus 5, or whatever. Let u equal sine alpha. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But instead I'm going to show you how the pattern works, if you understand the pattern. And the pattern is simply this. If you have the exact derivative out the front, then the integral is just 1 plus sine x to the 17 over 17 plus c. That's it. You increase this power by 1 and write it over the bottom. This one, it's got a minus sign out the front, so I'll just leave that. And it's going to be cos theta plus 5 to the power 8 over 8 plus c. This one, sine x is our basic function, so it's going to be sine. Instead of a power 6, it's now going to be power 7 over 7 plus c. How simple is that? Uh, just learn to recognise this class of integral. Provided you have the exact derivative outside of whatever function's inside, this is the pattern to follow. And it looks very, very similar to your uh, integration of powers of x, doesn't it? And there it is. So, I think you can see, rather than substitute, doing it this way is going to save you probably at least 60 seconds to maybe a minute and a half of furious work. And uh, also, you're less likely to make mistakes. So I think this is a better system, and I encourage you to practice it. Thank you for watching.